what seemed like a two hour delay, basically, Norigami came out. I was kind of really, really worried that they were going to cancel this episode for today and release it next week. So then my, basically my schedule is put back another week. Because I'm guessing, from what I've been told, that next week is actually the final episode of Norigami Arigato. And by Jingo, was it a journey? But that's my thoughts for the whole series will be next week, so you got it for that for next week. But god damn it, this episode was fantastic. Like it had its moments of like it had the feels, it had the friendship, it had the heartache, and it had freaking Kugaha in it. I was just like What did he come back for? Like his whole scene I guess it was a driving force why you can now put moves forward in the sense now you find out he was actually with Nor um Gata was with Nora, so that's basically why his purpose was there, so you can f actually find out what actually happened with Yato. And then them fighting, and then basically him overcoming it, and then basically fighting back. But it kind of se seemed, I don't know in my opinion, a bit tiny, a bit pointless. Like, it could have just been someone else, and it could have just fought, fought him, and he could have just moved on. But, because it's Kugaha, he's a main bad guy, he was there. And it's kind of just brushed off afterwards. Like, it's just nothing, nothing's mentioned. I thought we might mention it to Bishop or nothing. I go, I just met Kuha in the woods. And she'd be like, what? And she just like, literally goes and then just beats his ass for a poke. But yeah, never, never happened. So that, that, that one, I'm not too sure I, how I feel about it. That whole scene just, it, I don't know if it brushed me the wrong way or it just, it was just there for the sake of being there. I'm not too sure whether it could just been, it could have just gone without. And in a sense, like, in the sense, um, Hiyori can just gave him a pep talk anyway, but with some sort of fight in between, and then basically him overcoming it. I'm not too sure. It just it bugs me ever so slightly. Like it's not a big flaw, but it just bugs me ever so slightly. In what otherwise is quite a flawless episode because god damn it, Bishop one tends to freaking save her from fight Fate Zero. I was like, holy crap! I mean, the same outfit. <laughs> Someone's like the exact same outfit. I was like, it's Saber. I was like, I ain't complaining. I mean, I like Saber a lot, but. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like this is kind of cool. I like this. And she basically, she goes in there and beats in Nami's ass, literally. Like, just grabs her hair, starts bashing her face in the in the floor. I was just like, yeah, I I don't cross that lady down a dark alley because she will beat you senseless. That's basically what I took away from this episode. Just don't mess with Bishamon because she will beat you. And I like the fact that she kind of now revealed the fact of why she hated um, Yato the whole time. Like, she reveals why she hated Yato in the sense that she couldn't move forward unless she hate, had someone to hate. So it kind of moved forward in, in that way. I thought, yeah, that's kind of nice. I thought that's kind of a nice plot. I mean, kind of nice character development at the same time because it does kind of move that whole shit forward, like, she's gone past the point of hatred, now she can actually finally kind of like the guy. Because he ain't a bad guy, he didn't kill anyone, te theoretically. Like, when you think about it in the long run, he didn't really kill anyone. He was made to, so he didn't kill anyone, technically. So yeah, it was kind of nice they did actually include that scene. And then, yeah, we had the whole thing with Kofuku, so I actually finally knew what Kofuku is actually made of, and she was pretty damn cool, and you know, she was pretty damn scary in this episode, my wafu was scary. Like, my wafu of Century is kind of scary in that, in that regard, because she's like, she was completely serious and composed. I was like, I ain't, I, I ain't used to seeing like this. I can't take it, I'm sorry. And then we saw Ibisu as well. We, we saw basically how Ibisu's life kind of went for, like, in the past. Like, we saw that he went through, like, a load of names. Like, he's not, it's not, like, just, like, Yato. He's not got a calamity. He's just Yato. Yeah, with Ibisu, it's about 15 other names. So, it's kind of like he can be called anything. So, I'm guessing it just varies between publications in that regard. Or, so it just varies in different ways. But yeah, I thought it was kind of nice how they're just developing the character slowly. And I like how Yukine is now becoming powerful as a, as a character. He's kind of oppositing the actual female characters in anime. Like in a sense, like if you... I know, if, I guess I bring this up quite a lot. We haven't seen the film Vertigo. It's kind of exactly the same. How the character... How the, how the male character goes into a female character and vice versa, basically. How there's more dominant females than there is dominant males. And this anime kind of shows it as well. Because there's more dominant females in this anime. And I guess you when you think about it, dominant males... In a sense, Bishamon is kind of the dominant. Like, she is. She will beat you senseless. Yato is kind of that, but he's kind of on a, on a smaller scale. Like, he kind of dials a back a tone. He kind of is strong, but he dials a back a tone. And she, she, he's not like her, which goes, I'm going to beat your ass senseless and just start like, bashing Izanami's face in. I was just like. And I'm guessing if the final, final is next week, then we're going to have a quite the impactful episode. 
Because, god damn it, I don't want to see this anime end, because this already is my anime of the year, but I just don't want to see it end, because it's just too goddamn amazing. But yeah, I mean, that was practically life episode in a nutshell for me. I mean, we found out a lot about the characters, and the characters moved forward in that regard, and finding out the truth. And I thought it was kind of a nice episode. It's, it's that kind of gear up towards the final episode, but it kind of felt, it didn't feel like an, it didn't feel like a filler episode, which was just getting to that one point, it felt like it was needed, like it was just a good episode in all the long run, that's why I kind of like it, I don't know, it's just, I like this episode, because it just, but she was just a badass, like, she's, she's just, she's kind of the stronger wafu that you might just have, like, Kofuku is the cool wafu that you might have, and she's a sweet one, and Hiro might be the best girl in the history of, the, of humankind, but you just have, you have some kind of literal love between Vishimon because she's such a cool character. But yeah, I mean, with all that said, I have been the driver. If you do, do enjoy my video content, do leave a like. If you do actually enjoy what I do in general, do leave a sub. It does help me quite a bit. But with all that said, I have been the driver, and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.